Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, so this week I am not on cough syrup. So this isn't gonna be quite the over the top tip as the last one that we don't need no stink and cursor badges with the odd Italian accent, uh, but we're gonna try to make this one fun nevertheless. So this week I'm gonna share with you a couple of tips that snuck into AutoCAD 2017, these tools. Um, but if nobody tells you about them, you're not gonna know. And I don't want you to keep using AutoCAD the way you've been using it forever because nobody tells you about these cool features. That's why you have me. I am here to help you out, babe. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. So the first one has to do with dialog boxes that have lists in them, L-I-S-T-S. That easy for you to say, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just drop this down and let's go to manage layer states. So this is a dialog box that has lists in them. That's a list right there. And I hate the dreaded slider bar. I'm so lazy. Oh my gosh, I don't want to use the dreaded slider bar. All right, so if I could just expand this dialog box. Now you guys know that in the past, we haven't been able to expand these dialog boxes. We were stuck with the dreaded cursor bar. We don't like that. So now you can expand them and it gets better because it will actually remember that you expanded it. You don't have to ever do it again. You just expand it one time and you're out. But you know, if, since we're programmed to not know that you can expand them, you won't do it. So now you know. Expand them all. Here's another one you might want to expand. You might want to expand the page setup manager if you have a lot of page setups. Another one example, oh my gosh, I hate using the dreaded slider bar. So you expand it, make it nice and big. You won't ever have to do that again. See how lazy I am? That is how lazy I am. I don't want any extra clicks or picks unless you know you get paid by the hour. All right, so it'll stay like that. I'm good, I don't have to worry about that ever again. I'll never have to use the dreaded slider bar on that dialog box again, unless I have an insane number of objects in the list, I guess. So. Uh, and what else? Let me just also show you the insert command because this has a really cool feature in it that once again, if nobody tells you, you're not gonna know to use it and that's why you have me. All right, so first of all, look at this beautiful sample block I have to show you. <laughs> what is that, right? So this is what I wanna show you other than the fact that you can make it bigger, which is nice. That's also nice so you can get a really good view of this amazing sample block. It would be helpful if it was a more, you know, more complicated block. But what I do want to show you is, uh, and I, we're all programmed, right, to once again go through here and try to find the block that we're after. But I am really happy to report that it now supports autocomplete. No one told you you'd never know. You'd never know. So I can just type, start to type in a couple of characters, like I typed in an HS. It went straight to the block that I wanted. That's going to save me time, especially for those of you who have any degree of accuracy with your keyboard. And I, I like to use my keyboard. So uh, that's going to get me there much faster than going up and clicking and dragging and trying to hunt and peck. So now it supports autocomplete. It did not before. It should have all along, but it didn't. So that makes me really happy. Hopefully that makes you happy. All right. So there's just a couple of tips, cool features that came out in AutoCAD 2017. So as long as you're 17 or higher, you are good to go. And I, I hope that you have a great rest of the week and that you liked my tip even though I was not on cough syrup and I did not have a bad Italian accent. <laughs> Take care. See you back here in two more weeks.